Hey Gemini, so this is your summer solstice reading. You guys are my final reading, and yes, I'm doing this on the 20th. We're closing out Gemini season. Tomorrow is Cancer season, okay, and the mood is shifting. <laughs> but um, yes, yeah, so if this is your first time here, thank you for being here. Please be sure that you subscribe and like this video if you find it helpful for you. Share it with those who your Gemini friends, okay? If this supports you and you feel that it can support them as well. Now, Lizzie's Charm has a full moon ritual coming up. This is going to be a blessings honey jar ritual. You can sign up at the link below. Click on the website link, or you may have to copy and paste it. I don't think you can click on the link in description boxes, but um, yes, and go under shop with us, and you will find the full moon ritual there. Now, Gemini. For your energy, um, when I was getting ready to do your reading, Classic Me, it came up by Jenadia. Jen, I think that's how you say his name. It's interesting because I've never really heard that song before and it just like popped up. I was like, okay, this is Gemini energy. You know, um, I'm a classic me. You can be me when you look this clean. So... <laughs> You may be really feeling yourself this summer. Um, he's a Taurus, so maybe go back and watch that Taurus reading because um, they are really handling business this summer, Taurus. And that may resonate with you. Now, definitely, um, I see you guys wanting to have all that you want, right? You may be um, receiving a lot of different offers for something or a thing, anything. <laughs> you may be um, feeling like you were the person to defend others in a sense. I'm not sure where I got that from, but I think because I went and watched the video and when I heard when the song came up, I thought this was like an old song. I didn't realize that song just came out. So, or not just came out, whenever it came out, it's recent. Um, so definitely things are modernizing in your world. Things are becoming new, um, but in a old fashioned kind of way, <laughs> if that makes sense. So let's see, Spirit, what messages do you have for Gemini for this summer solstice energy? That's interesting. Aries had got something similar. I had rolled for them twice, actually. They had got, so y'all have Moon and Capricorn in the ninth house. They had it in the 12th house. So maybe you want to watch the Aries video too, Gemini. I don't know. But when I re-rolled for them, it was Sun and Aquarius in the first house, which is still very much so the same energy. Very similar. Similar frequencies, different expressions. That's about it. Anywho. So you may be getting, it is a lot of Capricorn energy because I think Taurus got Capricorn too. They got North Node and Capricorn in the sixth house. So you guys are really all about, well, Gemini putting the work in, you know, leading, achieving, being successful, right? And this feeling very, in your in your heart right this is coming from a heart space and so you may be feeling yourself being very practical in your beliefs very traditional in your beliefs on the path it is that you're taking the road that you're going down um focusing on the truth right and what's real especially in regards to what it takes to become successful and receive a sense of achievement. You may be um, receiving some recognition in regards to your path, what it is that you've been doing. You may be going back to school to solidify something, you're getting grounded or something that you feel is gonna help you succeed in the way in which it is that you were wanting, that you are feeling that belongs to you. 
um, the path that is calling to you, okay? And really taking the time to go about it in a very practical and methodical way. Um, your plans are important for you this summer in achieving those, right? Make sure you have a little bit of fun. Don't take yourself seriously. Don't take yourself too seriously. <laughs> but it feels like you're definitely gonna be feeling yourself, right? Um, there may be some travel here. Uh, maybe not necessarily flight travel, but definitely traveling for sure to distant places. Um, your health may be something coming up or the health of someone around you, so the health of your family. Um, possibly it could be the health of your mother coming up. That might be a reason why you're traveling. Or a woman particularly in your family or just somebody in the family. What else is here, Spirit? So the first card that's coming up is Ace of Knives. So um, you're gaining some sense of understanding in regards to your heart, what it is that you want, what you desire, how you feel, how you truly feel though, the truth of your feelings, right? About what it is that you want and going about that in a new way, seeing things differently, changing your perspective, possibly even in yourself and your mother, your communication with your mother may be changing as well. Um, even with the women in your family, women who support you, women who you support, this may be shifting some. You may be finding yourself to be communicating in a more intellectual way, um, getting more clear and decisive um, about the direction it is that you're going. Uh, illusions are clearing as well. The fog is clearing. Something has been illuminated that made, made it make sense. Made your, especially when it comes to your path, where you're going, where you're headed, the steps it is that you're taking moving forward. This has to do with work as well. <clears throat> and what it is that you actually want out of that committed in your relationships, right? So you have three of baskets here under the Capricorn energy. So um, your connections, these are who you're connecting with this summer. These are, if it's new people, then this is long lasting. If, if, but more than anything, this is people who you already have established relationships with, having a lot of joy in connection with them, feeling lighthearted and, um, feeling like you resonate deeply with the people around you, right? And even your connections, maybe you're doing some work with women. Um, and this is also bringing you a sense of success. You're creating something new, something long lasting, long standing as well, something very successful, but it's gonna, it's gonna move, it's gonna take time. This is not something that's gonna happen right away. It's gonna be the start. Okay, so in the ninth, under the ninth house, you have the big queen, and she's the empress. So again, you're creating something, you're creating something new, moving forward on this journey, perhaps with what it is that you're learning. Maybe you're going to start teaching something, um, helping people be able to create, in a sense, their reality, right? Um, something that is going to bring a higher sense of knowledge to others, creating something of a higher sense of knowledge, some tool, possibly, that... Um, is helping others get in touch with themselves, right? Because the Empress is, is about the intuition. It is about uh, self-value and self-worth, really being in, in that comes from seeing yourself, right? And in, in regards to beliefs, this is also about beliefs of how you see yourself, right? And, and the truth in that, what that really is. And you have the father of knives here. So just focusing on, on again, it's a lot of truth being had here. That's the main focus that is being experienced. Um, what's real? 
not focusing on illusions, getting very clear on that. All right. Feeling very committed and very devoted to your relationships, your connections. And also getting deeply in touch with your intuition as well. Giving and receiving. Believe. So believe, I believe. This is about having faith. And at the bottom here, you got too many dragons. Aries had got that. That's about people and their opinions. So, yeah, you know, however a person feels is really, you know, don't really have anything to do with us unless we choose to make it that. Give me one second. It is a matter of choosing to align to what a person says, does, whatever. Um, yeah, so belief is about having faith, right? You need to have faith as you go through this, as you begin to align to this new way of going about things, even having faith that this sex, this success it is that you're coming into that is going to last, that it is lasting, you know, and that it is here for the long term, you know, gaining a really a strong sense of stability, Um within your world, even within how it is that you feel about yourself, that may be, it seems like that is shifting. Your intuition is heightening in a way that is helping you um, see yourself more clearly. But you, it seems like you're gonna be developing this as well. What else is your spirit? Yeah, heart based or nothing at all, basically. Really tapping into that that will and motivating yourself to get things done. All right, and feeling the feeling the love, feeling the joy in the process of making this happen and doing this. Okay, so you have the right will here. And this is, this is about sacrifice because it says the pathway to a dream is sacrifice. So you're definitely going to be putting in a lot of work, right? Because this is um, the number 41. That's Taurus energy, number five. So changes are happening that are basically going to put you in a space of having to let something go. Something is leaving um, that it's not that it's not working anymore it's just that it's not necessary anymore you've it's it's served its purpose right so can you see that the right will it says caution your understanding and intuition of a person or situation needs to increase speed if you're not to fall victim be aware Beware of putting trust in someone who has commitments elsewhere. The right whale, a slow swimmer fond of coastal waters, is easy prey for whalers who hunted them nearly to extinction. The danger can be avoided by moving forward and positively getting grips with what it is, what is right and required. In order not to be left behind, remind yourself of where you are headed. Close friends and relatives will make your life easier for you. Consider what's really valuable in your life and you will travel on to a lucky phase and position of strength. Yeah, so this is about your values. Like, where are you aligning to this? Who are you connecting to? Right, that has something to do with new people entering your world because people who are already there, you know, it, it's grounded, it's stable, but there is... Um, mm, I don't know. Something about something about traditions and, and um, what it is that you desire, right? And in regards to having people around who don't really align with that, who don't really support you in that in some way, or allowing people to enter into your world that don't really align with you the way that you think they do. 
and just uh, paying attention to that, recognizing that. But either way, um, things are working out well. You just need to continue to move forward and, and do it and make it happen. What crystal for Gemini spirit? Okay, yeah, so here you have the hidden night and it says use it when you find yourself stuck in the past or too focused on the future. Hidden night is down to make the most of every moment. If you're in a rut, call on hidden night to help you love your way out of it. It says claim your happy space. So perhaps there may be a situation that you're dealing with um, already that you kind of need to pay attention to uh, the person who you're dealing with. And then it says, go all in on your essence, Shiva Lingam. This here, so it's about the sacral chakra. Um, you know, don't let a person fool you. Oh, shoot. Don't let them trip you up and stumble you. <laughs> What else is this? What else is here? Poor Gemini. Oh, it got dark. Let me cut this little one inspiration so where you're inspired go there right listen to those listen to those calls and try your best to focus on the beauty of things and not getting so caught up in um what, what's not going how you want it to okay so inspiration says there's a voice of inspiration in me right now it's only a whisper but the more i listen the louder it will get soon it will be flawless voiced by Flawless speech voiced by James Earl Jones through a megaphone with lots of applause. And so whatever it is that you are, um, that you have been creating, that you are desiring to create, um, that you've already started on, you need to have faith that it's going to work out because it will. You really just need to stay focused on it and putting in the work, Capricorn. Right, stay on the path, stay on the journey it is that it's going to take in order for you to be able to, um, to make it happen. What else is your spirit? What else is here for Gemini? Loyalty. So for one, be loyal to yourself. <laughs> first and foremost, but definitely recognize who it is that's in your life that is loyal to you and where your loyalties lie, where they should and should not lie, right? And what is what aligns with you, with who you are, it says, I'm there for people I care about in whatever way they need me, ride to the airport, no problem, bail you out of jail, you bet, go see your band again, maybe, the point is, when I stand with them, I know I'm part of something special. And to be honest, it doesn't suck to look around and remember they're standing with me too. So, yes, you have people who are around you who are very loyal to you, to what it is that you are creating, to what it is that you do, the work it is that you're carrying out. People are going to be there to celebrate your success um, with you. If they are not there already, and y'all are celebrating success. What else is here for Gemini spirit? Let's see for Gemini. Don't let the background noise, whatever that means for you, um, distract you or get you in a rut, make you feel some kind of way. <laughs> okay, and this is the, what is this? This is the third quarter moon, the lead. 
Yeah. So this is a third quarter moon and this is about um, adjusting, right? So be open to adjust where you need to. Um, if you need to sh shift directions, do that, whatever it is that kind of needs to be let go of, released, or put on the back burner for now. Um, it's important that you be open to doing that as well and releasing, again, <laughs> just releasing and letting go what it is that is necessary for you to be able to move forward in a way that doesn't burden you, that doesn't um, make things harder than they need to be, right? Because you have a lot of work happening here. It's important for you to follow your heart in that and what it is that you believe to be true, right, as well, because that's important. What is necessary for your path, for your journey? Okay, two cards want to come out. Got the sun and moon, which is the mirror here, and then you got the three of scarabs, the hierophant, Taurus, possessions, Venus. So, yeah, it's the, the, the right wells, Taurus energy. You might want to watch that Taurus reading, Gemini. Um, there might be something there for you, but um, this is about tradition and doing things in a way that works, right? And not really focusing on um, anything outside of that, focusing on the beauty, focusing on the love as well, especially when it comes to your path, your journey, where you're going, what you're doing, making sure that you love it, right? And recognizing whether or not you were um, operating in a an efficient way, right? So as above, so below. Um, so this is speaking about having keeping up your spiritual hygiene, keeping that together in a way that is going to allow you to um, stay in the flow of things, even when uh, life kind of gets tricky. Okay? What else is here for Gemini Spirit? What else is here? Spirit for Gemini. Okay. So you have the rapers, the rapiers, and rapiers. This is a number 10. So it's about the Wheel of Fortune turning, and it's an ace of swords. So again, it's about your perception, how it is, what you're thinking about. So, um, with it, it's coming out under Capricorn and three of baskets. So don't let your mind, it feels like, watch how your mind is working. Watch how it's going. Watch how you're forming your thoughts. Watch how you're perceiving things, right? And, and take the time to, again, release what it is that um, it's not serving your happiness, your joy and fulfillment in life, because that's going to be the key to your happiness, <laughs> you know, and really support you in being able to um, move forward in a light and we could say effortless kind of way. What else is here for Gemini Spirit? Watch your thoughts. What else is here for Gemini? Gemini, 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 Gemini. Okay. <laughs> Soul family, we have a lot of people around you, a lot of supportive relationships. That's definitely the forefront of your um, summer, connecting with these people, building with these people finding success with these people, all right? These are the people who you don't have to explain yourself to, calling your tribe. You don't have to do it alone. Don't overwork yourself. You don't have to delegate, delegate, delegate. And tap into your heart space to make sure that 
you're doing what it is that it, that you want, right? So also uh, focus on nourishing, nourishment, nourishing your goals, nourishing your body, your family, all of that, your children. This moon card is here. Maybe a moon cycle for the women, maybe of something that comes up for you this summer and influence. <laughs> okay, so you got the influence card and it says you might want to run, but you should stay and fight. Interesting. <coughs> Whatever's going on, you don't have to do it alone. Know that you got people that, that you can call on that support you. Um, to help you through whatever situation, whatever person it is that you are having to ex have an experience with. And, and right, because at the bottom, you got serenity. It says, stop thinking about the road not taking and pave over the one you did. Right, so focus only on what you chose. Oh, Gemini. As above, so below. Wherever it is that... Um, Don't let circumstances overthrow your beliefs. Really stick to your guns, stick to your values, stick to your truth and who it is that you are, what you what you feel is right. All right. And, and just kind of um, let things be as they may, in a sense. You know, and stand up for yourself. <laughs> I don't know why I'm saying this. That might be a thing. Stand up for yourself, Gemini, because it's going to be necessary, it seems. You have those who are here supporting you. So, Gemini, I'm going to leave it here. I hope that this helps you. I hope this supports you. I hope that this blesses you, okay? Um, if so, let me know. I would love to hear about it. And yes. I'm sending you guys so much love and I will see y'all in the fall. <laughs> that felt so fake. It looked fake. Not necessarily felt. Mm, that's the thing. Don't be being fake with nobody. Like, just be yourself. That's it. All right. So, yeah. I'll see y'all in the fall. Bye.